Hey Leo, hope you guys are doing great. This will be for any Leo placement. We're going to do this for the month of January, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're just going to pull on, I don't know, a few situations, as many as we can. Um, and just get as much out there for you guys as possible. Follow all your placements that pop up, okay? Whatever pops up here, we'll give you an indication where else you can look. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? And uh, I'm just going to be focusing this month. We've been guided to kind of pull on your energy and see what might need balancing or help at this time with regards to whatever situations you're dealing with, okay? So we're going to do a little bit of extra. I'm also going to do something I haven't done for the channel for every sign as well. And that's... Um, assess energy using the tarot as well okay so bear with it might take a bit all right spirit we're going to go ahead and pull final guidance from the beyond lemuria by izzy ivy for leo don't show me just one card and we'll read that at the end okay all right almost dropped it <laughs> Okay, maybe something's going to get fumbled this month, okay? <laughs> or nearly fumbled. All right, let's get some overall energy. I'm going to do like three times as much as what I would do for the weekly reads of your, okay? But I might have to clear the table a bunch of times, okay? So bear with. All right, let's get three overall timing as well as personal identifier too. Please and thank you for Leo. Believe in the impossible blue moon. Nice. Okay, maybe something rare that's going to happen for you, all right? Maybe something that you've only hoped would happen. Maybe happening. All right. New moon in Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You might be a Leo Cancer cusp, okay? Or this could just have something to do with the month of July, okay? You also have new moon in Virgo. September energy, uh, a time to give rather than take. Okay, so this might be an issue. There might be some sort of issue of uh, reciprocity here. You might need to pour into your own cups a little bit more this month. Know that you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, maybe there's been some worries about stuff. Let's see. What other signs could Leo be dealing with this time? Cancer, Leo, <laughs> okay, could be more self-oriented, especially highly aspected. We also have Taurus and Virgo, all right. All right, what else, Spirit? Get three from the Stargazing Oracle. one out your south node may be important in january okay follow your south node placement life's deaths the past past lives inborn gifts what's left unfinished lessons not learned and familiarity maybe something that you're already aware of okay sun placement is important as well leadership happiness creativity confidence spirit ego self-awareness and expression and your second house placement might be very significant. Material possessions, money, work, income, values, aesthetics, luxury, security, attitudes towards possessions, okay? Maybe there's a lesson here in reciprocity with regards to tangible items, okay? Or how much work is being invested, okay? In a situation, a family, a home life, that kind of thing. And there's probably a lesson here. Maybe it's something you have learned that you might need to be reminded of, okay? And get some strength through, some confidence, okay? Maybe even taking charge. What else, Spirit?
we're going to get nine cards. All right. Sugar and spice and everything nice. You might need to take care of your inner feminine energy right now. Or just sort of have a positive dis disposition, okay? Leo. <laughs> That's you. That's also the strength card, all right? Having that strength. Balancing your masculine and your feminine. So we're, good thing we're pulling on that today. Fame, maybe something known, being recognized. And let's get three more. Two and three. Okay. Try to do it in order. All right. Might be some recognition at this time. Perhaps something's broken down a little bit, old. Maybe needs fixing with old hoopty here. Could literally have something to do with a car. Okay. Maybe it's something that you've loved for a long time. <laughs> and it may need a little bit of fine tuning. Maybe a little fix it. Okay. And there might be a little bit of panic during the month. Okay. Strong energies. We got stalker here, so maybe something needs to be pursued or is being pursued a little too heavily, and it's creating a bit of a panic. Okay. Emergency ambulance here. Okay. Getting the sense of getting tripped up and maybe having an accident. Okay. Literally as well as figuratively here in a in a. A relationship of sorts okay this could be with family I do see that with the tree there all right let's get six from this half stack of tea leaf tell me more one more thank you and six from this half stack as well definitely could be in a romantic connection or again just something that you really love a, a relationship a bestie uh, a favorite in a family you know someone you're super close with could be an older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman ring a marriage will take place either romantic or business sorrow over loss wreath torch spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding bear danger especially in money manners okay so be mindful of what you spend on okay that could be causing this panic uh, maybe there's an extra expense here okay just kind of be patient through the process all right you might have to approach it positively right this could also be something being cleared out uh, that has needed to go for a while and you might need to take care of yourself this could be even your body with the old hoopty Maybe um, as a result of giving to others, you're not giving to self and something's wearing down and it's time to really focus on that at this time. Chain of events that will affect your life. Fan, romance, celebration, party. Something about the month of August. Definitely Leo energy. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Owl, good advice from a wise person, and crack cup, dissatisfaction with life, okay? So maybe there's something that feels a little out of sorts, right? You could be this person giving that advice or receiving it at this time, all right? Whatever this is, you're going to have some sort of epiphany. I'm definitely seeing that. Something's leaving, something's coming in, all right? That's better for you. You do have some decent cards right here for sure, and deep friendship as well. So it doesn't have to be romantic. I'm not saying it could be. It could be romantic for some. Um, could be same sex for some. Um, 
but be mindful of money matters. Okay, there might be some situation that's causing a panic here. And it could very well have something to do with that, a car, literally. <laughs> or something big, a big purchase that's breaking down, okay? A big situation that takes some money to put into it, okay? It could be an old debt. Ooh, that's what the South Note could be referring to. Okay. All right. Let me clean up a little bit. We'll get a little bit more on this for you, okay? Again, take what resonates and leave the rest. It could be bits and pieces. Get the double kipper out of spirit and pull nine cards, please. Try to keep it in somewhat of an order. These could also be individual as well, okay? That's five. Message of concern, 14 and 5, 25 and 7 with high honor. Again, that could be that recognition energy, okay? Um, and it may not be positive, so you might need to counter with that positivity, all right? 38, 11, toil and labor. This could have something to do with work or something you work really hard towards or whoever is around you as well, okay? Um, maybe something's not working. There's some debt here. Oh, that's the debt. Okay, I see it with poverty here now. Okay. 37 and 10. Four and courtship. This could be this new relationship working towards a pathway here. This is longevity, and it's also spiritual enlightenment as well. Could be a main female, age 30s, 40s, maybe even early 50s, feminine energy. Number two here, and maybe they're going to bring in something good for you in this process. Let me do this so I have more space. Okay. It could be that they're coming in tow with a child, or this could just be a new beginning here. 11, 2, 35, 8, 18, 9. Twos are here, duplicated. So you might have to make a choice or keep a balance um, in whatever the situation is. This could be about a partnership. This could be a business thing too. Maybe this is a, a brand new opportunity coming in that they're bringing to you, okay? All right, so I'm going to do the Lenormand three ways, okay? Spirit, we're going to do one story with three, a second story with three, a third story with three, and then I'll read all the cards as pattern. Okay, so we'll do like a three by nine, but break it up and then do a fourth story. Okay. <laughs> all right. Eight of swords. Maybe there's some sort of mental imprisonment, maybe in a group setting here. Or maybe you might get mental clarity being out in nature. Moon, tapping into your emotions and your intuition. Cancer, Cancer, Pisces energy. Moving to the unknown. You have two eights here. Three eights now so far. Okay. All right. And nine of pentacles with the coffin. Definitely making independent choices. Working through a loss, okay, of some kind. But I'm getting a sense of not staying in that energy as well with the Eight of Swords, okay? And the Eight of um, Cups here. Third story, second story.
Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Ooh, tens on board too. Something's definitely ending here. Okay, moving towards something great, but some secret needs to, some message. Whatever's in this message may be something that you'll become enlightened about. Okay, uh, some when the pages are read, the truth is revealed. Maybe there's a, a detail or a bit of a story that will make it make sense. Okay, you could be dealing with a gentleman or R one. You also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Cancer Pisces heavy. We've had Cancer how many times? <laughs> okay. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Maybe there's like ending worries over the tangible here. The money, money matters. The ship is good fortune coming in. Okay. Could involve a new friend. Twenty six, eight, twenty eight, ten, and three. Seven of Wands, 23 and 5. Mm, losing hope. Okay. Mice is all about things being taken or gone or lost, right? There could be some sort of um, hopelessness feeling here with the stars. Aquarius energy is here as well. Six of Cups. This could be just ruminating on nostalgia of the past or whatever this past is you have a lady here as well the ace of swords truth is definitely going to come out in this situation okay gemini libra aquarius energy but i get the sense there's going to be victory victory over it maybe it's just Really evaluating what had happened so you know what's best for you, so that you know how to heal through it, okay? Or maybe this could this could also be confirmation of something that you had um, mistrust with. For example, if you um, thought somebody from your past had taken something, um, but there was no direct proof of it, maybe this is the proof of it, okay? Something's definitely going to get exposed, too, because the moon is all about exposure. Just giving a glance at the overall as well, see if there's anything else I see. Eights are here. This is definitely about your tangible assets or how what makes you feel abundant, okay? This could be a reevaluation of what's needed for self in a situation. I'm also just looking too. You got the lady, the gentleman, and then you've got the garden, this group of people. Okay. And at the center of it all is this gentleman. All right, let's see if there's anything else I can clarify for you. Tell me about this message of concern, spirit. Is this about a debt? Regret. Okay. All right. Grief, sadness. Well, six of swords from some situation that had to be transitioned from. Okay. I'm hearing cutting your losses and actually focusing on the positive by celebrating with friends. Perhaps new friends here, okay? And what was the secret? What's the book about? What's this little detail? Ooh. Maybe it's a realization that you don't really need it to transform. Could be about an ending to a literal death that did want to come up in the reverse. Nope. It's just about seeing what your options are, okay? For your, you're releasing what's not for you and deciding what opportunities to go for here. With the Four of Cups, one more. <laughs> and that's the truth. All right, Ace of Swords, definitely having that that victory by making that choice, okay? All right, what's this uh, main female, sudden wealth, and child? Regards to pathway. 
Ooh, a yes answer with the sun here. It's definitely something that's going to be illuminated. Make you happy. Get you in your feels with the Queen of Cups here. Again with that Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. One more. Okay, two more. <laughs> Chariot, Cancer energy again, moving through it, balanced. This could be an achievement, a rite of passage, evolution over whatever was heartbreaking, okay? Three of Swords here. Moving through pain. I'm seeing serious healing energy here. This is definitely an opportunity to actually be able to do that. It will be illuminated, though, what this is, okay, in January. More tangibly speaking. Looking around here. More Pisces energy with that Queen of Cups as well. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. There is some tangible asset here, you know, with the poverty, toil, labor, sudden wealth, the Ten of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. But I'm getting more of a sense of what makes you feel abundant with all this cup and this cup energy, okay? And all this water energy, too. So maybe there's been something that um, wasn't working, wasn't making you feel right. And perhaps was depleting you on so many levels. You might need to give to yourself and refill cups. You might need to re-examine who you're giving your cups to. Especially if, you know, you've got you've got cars out here like three times. You have the old hoopkey, you have the second house, and you've got the chariot here. So it could literally be about, you know waste of a car it could just be about changing your car up literally okay could also be just who you lent the car out to you see people on deck here a lot okay and maybe something's just being recognized about a situation all right now let's get you guidance so south node is here the lessons are going to be important okay let me clean up Let's get three, please. Three different lessons. Could be one for one person or three different people or four different people, depending. Let's see. Let's pull it all together. For Leo, please. South Node, second house. Trust. I accept that my inner guidance will always guide me correctly. The crown chakra and third eye here. Oh, and throat. Heavily. Envy. Okay, maybe others are going after what you have. I'm trying to be depleting that way. You could be dealing with energy vampires. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And balance. Again, more throat chakra. Communication. And really tapping into your um, your crown and your third eye here, okay? Seeing through the situation, sort of seeing the bigger picture. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. You also might need the strength here a bit with the MV card being so yellow. And orange is tapped into your sacral chakra, so this could be family circumstances as well. Let's get three from the unshakable inner peace, please. Right, 40 and 4. What is has no bearing on what will be. What does your ideal life look and feel like? 10 and 1. Out of the woods, you've made it through. What newness is emerging? So focus on the new. Don't ruminate and regret. And I'm 
whoa on the past. One again, definitely something is being manifested for you. We've got ones here too. You create your own reality. What you want wants you to. What do you want to experience? All right. I'm gonna pull from the life purpose oracle spirit. Anything that Leo might need to know at this time. I'm gonna do nine. <laughs> Creative expression, your soul longs to express itself creatively, so that might help you with healing at this time as well. You might have to get creative with what you want as well. Flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Flowers are going to be important right now. That could be even aromatics. Literal flowers, gardening, that sort of thing. Or just even going to like nurseries. And, and walking around and smelling the flowers, right? Study, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Environmentalist, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So work more with nature right now. You might need to study it. Also looking at his little landscape painting there too, okay? Children, your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So maybe there's some sort of fun inner childhood thing, inner child thing. It's not specific to children, right? It could be about your inner child as well. Maybe there's something helping that situation. Protected, you're safe and supported while you make changes in your career. What did I say, nine? <laughs> okay. Music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Listening, singing, playing. Okay. Sound healing, I just heard. Infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So it might be time to move in into things that are more in alignment with you. And then money won't be such an issue. It won't be such an issue. Okay. And one more. Travel. All right. Your life purpose involves traveling. Okay. Start local if you're worried about finance. Okay. Just get yourself out there doing stuff. Okay. There might be some inspiration as to what to do next. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to clear the board because we're going to go ahead and pull on all the energy using tarot. Now this is a method I discovered a long time ago. usually do it for myself from time to time when I just want to check in with my yin and my yang energy and see how I'm doing, see if there's anything that needs fine tuning. And what I do is I assess pages and queens with the feminine energy and the tangible. And I assess the knights and the kings as masculine energy and the tangible. But I also do a one up and see how my Empress and and, and uh, my Emperor energy is doing. Your Emperor is all four queens in the upright in the deck, and your Emperor is all four kings in the upright in the deck. Okay. So I'm gonna do the full assessment for you. Usually it's the first one that pops up, page or queen, and the first one that pops up of each of the elements each of the suits, um, knight or king, but I'm going to do all of them because that will give you greater insight as to where issues may lie within your energy. And keep in mind, this could be external energy you're picking up on that you're not aware of, okay? You might be um, internalizing others around you's energies, okay? I also take out the, the high priestess, which is next level empress, and the hierophant, next level emperor, okay? So each level is sort of like, you know, going from being asleep to totally enlightened and in your spiritual purpose and all that, okay? One more spirit for Leo. How's their energy, their yin and their yang doing? And then we'll get further guidance, okay? Let's do that one more. All 
All right, here we go. Just gonna put them out right now and then make sure I got them all, okay? And then we'll work on each category, each element. All right, so, so far we have King of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Swords in the upright, Page of Swords in the reverse, Knight of Wands in the upright, King of Cups in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse, Page of Cups in the upright, The Empress reversed, Knight of Pentacles upright, Page of Pentacles upright, Emperor upright, that's good. We'll see it all together though. Just gonna make sure I don't miss anybody. Knight of Swords reverse, High Priestess reverse, Queen of Pentacles upright, Knight of Cups upright, King of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands upright, Hierophant reversed, King of Wands upright, Queen of Cups reversed, alright let me just double check make sure I got everybody. It's looking good so far. All right. Sometimes these cards stick together. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's see what we got here. Pentacles, got them all, okay good. And all the cups, and all the wands, and all the swords. Good, 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 good. All right, I'm gonna start with the quickest energy, which is our wands here, and we'll see what we got. All right, page of wands in the reversed. There could be some discouragement, distraction, a little bit of depression or bad news. That could be that bad news coming in to shake things up, or intentions. Um, being easily tricked, loud mouth, impatient, self-limiting beliefs, and newly formed ideas. Let me get that closer. Uh, redirecting energy, a spiritual path, okay? Knight of Wands is in the upright, so you're golden on that. Same thing with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay, so there could just be some temporary kind of disruption, okay? especially given it's quick energy. It could just be bad news, you know, kind of shaking up the energy a little bit and kind of making someone panic. I get that panic energy for sure. Uh, then swords next. This could be weeks energy here. Page of swords in the reverse. That could also be that bad news. Uh, careless, defensive, incompetent, self-expression, all talk, no action, haphazard, haste, unproductive, and exhaustion. It could be something that is just going to expect a lot of, of everyone, okay? And especially you. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Swords is in the upright. At least you're speaking your truth. So that's good, okay? I'm getting a sense whatever this is is just going to be a trickle-down effect. You did have the chain of events. So this could just be that. So be mindful of that, all right? just realized we still have that up. <laughs> that's going to be distracting. Disorganized, scattered, careless, restless, unfocused, impulsive, burnout, being stagnant, laziness, missed opportunities, and self-doubt. Um, this could be an external energy to you expecting you to pull more weight or someone around you to pull more weight, which in turn you might be connected to to pull more weight because of their incompetency as well. And it could just be a manipulation with the King of Swords in the reverse, okay? I'm getting a sense you're going to need to stand your ground anyway. 
you got some strength energy here with Knight, Queen, and King of Wands in the upright, so you'll be fine, okay? And that would explain a lot why your Emperor is still in the upright, okay? This may be an energy that would typically shake you up, okay? Oh, this is actually half good half, all right? Page of Cups in the upright, Knight of Cups in the upright. No, I don't have much space. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. And King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so mind your emotions at this time. No wonder why all that moon energy showed up, okay? Uh, it could make you feel like uh, it's overwhelming. You might go hide. Moody, withdrawn, insecure, inner feelings, self-care. Definitely take care of yourself at this time. Self-love, codependency, weak, needy, shallow. Again, with that manipulative uh, ma manipulative energy. Manipulative. Volatile, self-compassion, inner feelings, moodiness, emotionally manipulative. Okay, yeah, I see what's going on. This is an external energy definitely trying to manipulate you. And get your energy out of balance. Okay. Page wands in the upright. Good. Knight of queen all in the uprights and your king of pentacles is in reverse okay <clears throat> maybe there's not enough financial room for this person's issue okay materialistic is here in stable corruption stubborn wealth and obsessed with wealth and status maybe it's an unnecessary maybe they don't want their old car and they want a maserati <laughs> you know champagne taste beer budget okay um it could be that kind of energy all right and that might need to be reevaluated for you whether or not you want to be around that energy or not and if you're in that energy um there may be a time to to kind of reevaluate what you need for yourself here you do have the empress in reverse and the emperor in the upright however so take care of you all right pay attention to what's most important stay focused be independent there's a lack of that. Smothering is here. Creative blocks. Maybe not having some inspiration. And I get the feeling that you might have somebody coming in to assist with that. Okay. Infidelity. Okay. That's not for all of you. And that's why your high priestess is in the reverse. Okay. Now, your hierophant is... It also in the reverse too. This could be some kind of block that's just blocking um, some relationship, blocking your ability to really tap in and get your an attempt to get your emotions immature here. Both king and queen in the reverse, right? With the hierophant, this could just be somebody trying to shake shit up, you know, challenging the status quo. Like maybe they don't like what you're doing for yourselves because it takes away from what they want, right? So maybe there's some contempt or rebellion here, okay? This is also a card of freedom, too, and recognizing what you need for yourself. There is strength here. I'm not really seeing anything terribly negative for you personally. It's just somebody's going to be trying to, they're going to be trying you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and making you seem like you're less available or less, like you can't do it. It almost feels very narcissistic, sociopathic, right? Almost like they're trying to like go, oh yeah, why don't you prove it and prove me wrong, you know, kind of energy. But you know what's you know what's true for you, okay? You've definitely thought of everybody. You've definitely taken charge. You actually know yourself a little bit more. The wands energy too is very intuitive, okay? They're just trying to make you doubt yourself in this situation, okay? So you're gonna need to be really on really mindful as to how you emotionally respond to this situation, okay? Be that queen of swords, okay? Communicate wisely here. You do have a lot of swords in the reverse, okay? And it's good to be self-protective with your words, but you want to be careful with your words as well, right? Delicate. Delicate's the word I'm hearing.
tactful, truthful, articulate, right? Have that mental clarity about things. Don't let them shake you up, all right? Maybe this is an energy that's been able to do that in the past, okay? Let's get you some other guidance regarding your masculine and your feminine energy. I'm going to pull three cards, okay, from each of the masculine feminine decks. Let's see if there's anything else that could be suggested this time. All right. All right, Spirit, you're going to pull from the Gods and Titans. I may need the book. It's been a while. <laughs> so we are also going to read the Shadow Sides. Okay. Let's get three cards for Leo's masculine energy healing needs at this time. Okay. If I can hold this deck. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Last one. All right, let's get three, please, and thank you. Green Man, Abundance. And knowing what your worth is. Kernunos, shape shifting in the shadow side. And Ganesha, obstacles. Okay. This could be something that had been removed as well. Okay, and you're just kind of playing clean up on your energy here. <clears throat> you are definitely protected from this energy. They're not going to be able to get too far. They may even do something that exposes themselves and reminds you of this reading. <laughs> that, that, that's possible. Prosperity and growth are bursting forth. Any seeds you plant now will flourish. Growth is underway and is bound to bring with, pos with it prosperity in all things. The deep energies of the earth are at work to help you co-create the green, the green that you want. Whether that is health, success in school, or even wealth, the green man also fosters the feelings of enthusiasm and passion. It works side by side with you as things expand, transform, and grow. So there might be that study, right? Ask yourself, what is it that you wish to grow? What seeds need to be sown? Are you focused on school and academics? Or is this the time you want to focus on creating beautiful art or writing? Whatever it is, the green man can help you create abundance. too far. Transition and change are flowing through you. Relax and know you have the power to be what you want to be. Kernonos. Hold on. Here we go. <clears throat> Kernonos is often depicted as half human and half stag, although sometimes he is simply depicted as a man with a glorious set of antlers that seem to pierce the sky. His energy is vital, flowing, fertile, and connecting. Today, he is a symbol of the purest masculine energy, untainted and fully connected with his strength and wildness. For this reason, he is extremely popular with the modern pagan and witchcraft communities and is a patron of those who work on facility, facilitating change as environmental activists. You did have the environmentalist part as well. Uh, you can call upon his shape-shifting energy when you wish to transition from one identity to another or to shift back into your most authentic self. If you feel like you've changed recently in ways that don't feel right to you or in ways that feel untrue to your nature, it's time to shift back with Kernonos. On the shadow side, which this card's placement is in, the wilderness demands respect. Many survival shows demonstrate how to conquer nature rather than work with and enrich the environment for the greatest good. If you use only the gifts of the earth, sky, and sea for sport without ever giving back to those same elements, you may need to rethink your attitude. A balanced masculine nature is one of deep protective connection with the earth and its animals rather than dominion over them. So with regards to this energy coming in, okay, stay balanced. No dominion over anything. There's no breeding of arrogance in this situation, okay? 
you can have sugar and spice and everything nice. So you might need to take a, a positive approach to things, right? And sweeten the pot a little bit, okay? Today's hunters could do well to follow a more honorable path than the cold process of taking life. Think also how Cronos would view the common practices of factory farming, for example, and reassess what you eat. Oh, that's right. I often assess his card as like, you might want to eat more vegetables, okay? Maybe uh, lean on more of a vegetarian diet this, this month, okay? That might actually help you cleanse out everything as well and unblock some chakras, okay? Especially if you've got some blockages with Kanesha here, okay? Obstacles are removed or placed for good reason. So whatever energy is coming in to challenge you, there's a reason for it. Invite in a drama-free life. Okay, there's a whole bunch here. All right, I'm going to read all of it. This is not in the shadow side. The god Ganesha is one of the most loved of all Hindu gods. Everywhere you turn in modern India, you see the joyful elephant-headed deity balancing on one leg, often riding a mouse, pushing away your worries and negativity. The goddess Parvati shaped Ganesha from the earth. When her husband Shiva returned and saw a young man with her, he attacked Ganesha in anger, severing his head. Parvati then revealed who Ganesha was, and Shiva sent his soldiers away and instructed them to return with the head of any sleeping being who was facing north. They found an elephant and attached its head to the body of Ganesha, restoring his life. Shiva declared that from then on, Ganesha would always be loved by the community. People invoked his name as a blessing prior to the beginning of major undertakings, like moving, trying out for something, and starting new projects of all kinds. So that may be what you're doing this month, okay? <laughs> Any one of those things. Ganesha is an active god. Although many immediately think of him as laid back, he, as he is often pictured seated and with a sweet, a sweet on his round belly. In the old stories, he was a brave warrior, fighting demons or dancing wildly, pushing away any obstacles. He carries an axe, which he swings to destroy pride, inertia, and vanity. Okay, so that may be some aspects here that are happening, okay? Ganesha is often seen with Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity, and they are often worshipped side by side, particularly by people who, with jobs, who want the double blessing of a successful business without too many obstacles. A statue or picture of Ganesha in your car assists in avoiding accidents and traffic, again with the car references, okay? And he grants peace to a household should he, his form be placed at the front door or even the door to your room. Ganesha is also the patron of writers, again with the writing thing and the creative, okay? Having penned the Sanskrit Indian epic, the Mahabharata, with nearly two million words total. Two million might be significant to someone, I just heard that. And is the perfect deity to call upon to break the obstacle of writer's block, okay? So you could have that blockage. Any problems writing papers, working out problems, or finding a job, Ganesha should be able to help you, okay? All right. Feminine energy, anything that needs to be healed. Or confirmed with healing. There we go. Let's get three, please. Thank you. Chunga, Divine Feminine, so just take care of you, okay? Self-care practices, raise your, your inner feminine energy, tap into that for healing. Ma'at, do what feels right to you, okay? Do what's right for all as well. Make sure your heart is as light as a feather, okay? Saraswati, Enlightenment, definitely look through. I'm also going to read a little bit more. I know there's something else in here. This card is assigned for. All right. Goddess of knowledge, the arts. She's opening your third eye, so definitely cleanse that out. To all things that require wisdom and study. Okay. 
Focus is important, and you'll receive enlightenment, okay? All right, let's get some chakras. Uh, six, please, spirit. Anything else that Leos need to know at this time? Inspiration, okay. Sacral chakra. Might want to take care of your sacral more. Cleanse that sucker out. That could be your writer's block. Ooh. Inner child and heart chakra here. Maybe there's something from your childhood that would inspire you to take the next leap on. Flexibility again, sacral chakra energy here. Just remain flexible. You may want to actually do flexible exercises. I'm looking at that yoga pose there, okay? More heart chakra, forgiveness. So forgiveness is needed in this situation, okay? Earth star chakra with Mother Earth here. Definitely connect to the earth. Lots of earth energy, okay? You might also just might need some grounding. I'm seeing a lot of lower chakras here. All lower chakras practically except for solar plexus. Nurturing, take care of you, okay? That's your divine feminine. You might need to be a mother or father to your inner child right now, okay? There are a number of meditations where you can actually go and meet your inner child and see what they need, okay? You might want to try to do that. Some of them are actually deeply in the present moment meditations. Maybe the suggestion here too is also to do it with the earth involved, okay? Go outside and do it. I know it's cold, <laughs> but pick the first sunny day. I'm looking at the sun there. <laughs> okay, two suns, okay? Pick the first sunny day and just go outside and do one of those five or ten minute meditations, okay? Be out in nature as much as possible. I just heard it just once a week, okay? And then whatever you learn, whatever you discover, what you've become enlightened on, you might need to actually go and learn more about, okay? In the tangible for you. I'll give you that inspiration. All right, let's get three. No. Let's get six from the Ancestor Spirit Oracle. I'm trying to do everything three times as much before. Laugh and have fun. Smile. Positive energy. There's your positive sweet, sweet and uh, <laughs> sugar and spice and all things nice. Okay. All right. Tune in and connect. Nonverbal communication, intuition, and messages. You might be receiving that. That's where your inspiration may come from. It could be also coming from your inner child. Give them that too. Do gratitude exercises. Be thankful. Gratitude, appreciation, and harmony. Honor the deities around you. Prayers, offerings, and help. And that could apply to any ascended master to energy, okay? Or your, your ancestors or your spirit team, whoever you vibe with, okay? Respect your physical body. Detox, rejuvenate, and relax. And... <laughs> that one's not to stand up. Explore your creative side. Visualize, paint, and record, okay? And since writing has been talked about quite heavily, you might want to journal or do poetry or something, okay? There might be even some free writing in the mix here, okay? Let's get your final guidance. 45, Star Seed Elemental. Ooh, children as teachers. Huh, all right. Now I see where the children come into play. Okay, this could literally be your inner child, okay, trying to teach you some. Fun, lightheartedness, joy, laughter, newly incarnated souls, the child within, maintaining an acquisitive perspective, wonder, and imagination. 
Bring a sense of play, lightness, and spontaneous spontaneity into your life. Be inspired by children or your inner child. You are encouraged to add inquisitiveness, fun, and laughter to your reality. This card may signify the presence of a child in your life. So observe that child if you have one, okay? They're, they might be giving you some clues. <laughs> Spending time with children will help you experience the world from a fresh perspective and see them as, in, as the inspiring teachers they are. Being with children can be a great way to recapture wonder, innocence, unapologetic truth, and wisdom. Their realities are not yet muddied by the shoulds or cannots, and their imaginations are often so wild and creative that they can be our biggest inspirers. Furthermore, as their incarnation from pure spirit is more recent, they are still aware of energy and have a natural psychic awareness. Sometimes adulting can become too serious. When this happens, bringing a childlike, lighthearted sense of play to your perspective can be the most productive way to rebalance. Facing challenging circumstances with inquisitiveness can bring joy to whatever we're accomplishing. Imagine stepping into a child's shoes and seeing how they perceive the world. If you have a problem, consider how a child might solve it. Think back to when you were little and what you love to do. Remember how the world felt around you and how magical and mysterious things may have been. What has changed? What would you tell the seven-year-old you? The little people of today will be the inventors, creators, and leaders of tomorrow. How can we help nourish their big souls to ready them for an optimal journey through life? Right now, powerful souls are incarnating on Earth to help with the progression of this planet. All children are equally special, but some may have different or unique needs due to their more sensitive and energetic natures. The ways children were brought up in previous generations may not be the best options for today. Humans are evolving, and children can be our wisest teachers. May we listen to them with our hearts and let their ways unveil fresh new eyes so we may see a whole new world. There you go, Leo. Hopefully that helps. We'll check in again in a month. And of course, pay attention to any of the messages that pop up for the general collective throughout the month as well. I'll be doing those still, okay? There'll be more guidance, all right? More, more available confirmations and messages and whatnot, okay? Have a good one. Bye.